He is known for being one of the first American minimalist composers and a central figure in fluxus and avant-garde music. He is recognized for his exploration of sustained tones, starting with his 1958 composition trio for strings. His name is Lamonti Thornton Young. In the realm of avant-garde music, one name stands out, Lamonti Thornton Young. Hailing from America, Young is a legendary composer, musician, and performance artist, known for his groundbreaking contributions to minimalist music and fluxus, a post-war avant-garde movement. His exploration of sustained tones revolutionized the field, starting with his iconic composition trio for strings in 1958. Young's compositions pushed the boundaries of traditional music, challenging the very nature and definition of the art form. One of his most notable works is Compositions 1960, which featured text scores that questioned traditional musical structures. While many of his recordings have become rare, his avant-garde approach has influenced musicians across various genres, from the experimental world of avant-garde to the realms of rock and ambient music. During the 1950s, Young honed his skills as a jazz saxophonist and studied composition in California. In 1960, he made his way to New York City, where he became a central figure in the downtown music and fluxus art scenes. It was during this time that he founded the Theater of Eternal Music Collective, collaborating with the likes of Tony Conrad, John Cale, and his wife, the talented multimedia artist Marion Zazila. Young's pioneering work in drone music with the collective was nothing short of revolutionary. However, his artistic journey didn't stop there. Together with Zazila, he developed the Dreamhouse sound and light environment, creating an immersive experience for audiences. In 1964, he embarked on his ambitious project, The Well-Tuned Piano, an improvisatory composition that he continues to perform in various iterations to this day. As his musical career progressed, Young and Zazila embarked on a new chapter of their artistic journey by studying under the renowned Hindustani singer, Pandit Pran Nath, starting in 1970. This immersion in Indian classical music further enriched Young's compositions and expanded his sonic palette. In 2002, Young and Zazila formed the Just Alap Raga Ensemble, collaborating with their disciple Young Hee Choi. Lamonti Young's contributions to the world of music are immeasurable. His bold and innovative approach to composition and his exploration of sustained tones have left an indelible mark on the avant-garde music scene. Young's legacy continues to inspire and influence musicians, reminding us of the profound significance of pushing boundaries and challenging conventions in the pursuit of artistic expression. In his early years, Lamonti Young developed a fascination with continuous sounds. He recalled that the first sound he ever heard was the wind blowing under the eaves of his childhood log cabin. This love for droning sound stayed with him throughout his life, from the humming of telephone poles to the sustained tones of Indian classical music and Japanese kagaku. In fact, the four pitches that he later referred to as the dream chord were inspired by the continuous sound of the telephone poles in his hometown of Bern. Hashtag continue hashtag jazz also played a significant role in Young's musical development. Initially, he had planned to dedicate his career to jazz, and artists like Lee Konitz and Warren Marsh influenced his saxophone playing style. Later, it was the legendary John Coltrane who shaped his use of the sopranino saxophone. Jazz, along with Indian music, became a key influence on Young's incorporation of improvisation into his works after 1962. It was during his time at UCLA in 1957 that he discovered Indian music, with Ali Akbar Khan and Chatter Lal leaving a lasting impact on him. The introduction of the Tampra and his study with Pandit Pran Nath further deepened his appreciation for long-sustained sounds. Additionally, Young found inspiration in Japanese music, particularly gagaku, and the rhythms of pygmy music. Hashtag continue hashtag surprisingly, Young only discovered classical music later in life, thanks to his university teachers. He credits the likes of Bela Bartok, Igor Stravinsky, Periton, Leonin, Claude Debussy, and the organum musical style as important influences. However, it was the serialism of Arnold Schoenberg and Anton Webern that had the greatest impact on his compositions. Hashtag continue hashtag in his quest for musical exploration, Young turned to psychedelics as a tool for creativity and expanding consciousness. Cannabis, LSD, and peyote played a significant role in his life, introduced to him by Terry Jennings and Billy Higgins in the mid-1950s. Young found that many of the musicians he worked with were also using drugs as a means of enhancing their creativity. The influence of psychedelics can be seen in the music of the Theater of Eternal Music, a group Young was a part of, where they would get high before every concert. While cannabis helped him open up creatively, it could sometimes prove challenging when performing pieces that required keeping track of elapsed bars. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.